Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell the rules. Three, two, one. I forgot about the rules. Dang it. Okay. The shenanigans begin. No keepers. Well, I just have the dropsies today. Gee. Okay. Joker bait. We can pass those three. Keep these. Here we go. Yep, there it goes. Oh, really? All right. Didn't I say something about shenanigans early on? Let's just cut, cut these rules in after or when, when the first pick for a Super Joker comes up, cut this in. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Super Joker. Oh, did I already say? I don't even know. Thir three, two, one. Is that what we're going to do? In this variations video, I'm going to three, two, one, three. Okay. Atomic allows atomic includes addition, includes hands that are not on the three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. When a player, okay, three, two, one. Okay, three, two, one. Let's see, how do I want to start that? Three, two, one. You have to qualify to be atomic, to declare atomic. Three, two, one. Let's see, three, two, one. Okay, I think that's going to work. Three, two, one. You're about a, uh, mm, okay, ow, uh. okay, three, two, one, uh, let's see, three, two, one, what do I want to say, um, three, two, one, three, two, one, oh, no, I don't remember what I said. I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. For this exercise, I'm going to apply... Oh, jeez. Okay. Oy, oy, oy. Three, two... Oh, here we go. Oy. I don't know if I like that. Nah. Oh. Okay. I'm going to practice decision making by playing a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. 
If you're new to this version, look for a link below the video to an introduction to this style and a reference to the scoring. This is where you can find all the scoring elements categorized by category. Okay. Three, two, one. I'm going to practice decision making for Mahjong competition rules. If you're new to this version, look for links below the video for a player reference and an introduction to this style. It really is quite challenging and a lot of fun. It's kind of like Hong Kong Mahjong on steroids. Is that a good thing? No, I don't think so. Um, uh, I'm going to practice decision making by playing a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you don't know how to play this version yet, look for links below the video to an introduction and a link to a player reference with all the scoring elements divided by category. It's a great way to get to know the scoring elements. Oh, that's very, very redundant. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. Tissue. Okay. Three, two, one. Mm. If you're new to Mahjong or if you're already. Uh, three, two, one. We're going to say that it is the East round. We're gonna deal the tiles, 13 to east, 13 to east, three, two, one. Whenever I play Pinfu, I pair up or get extra cheese and have to give one up. Which one do you give up? That's when I look at the weights and I pick the strong weights or patterns like mixed triple chi or pure double chi, troubleshooting pinfu. This is why I practice with solitaire. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself and let me know if it helps you with decision making with those troublesome number tiles. Plentiful, flexible, troublesome, but fun. I think it's fun. Oh, I don't like that. No. Oh my gosh. Three, two, one. What do I want to say here? I always struggle here. Um, oh, I paid the wrong. Are you serious? I paid the wrong person. Oh my gosh, really? Oh my gosh, I have to fix that. Oh, geez dummy okay let's just fix it paid the wrong person three two one i'm going to do some random pulls for japanese mahjong also known as richi this exercise keeps me on my toes between games uh, we're going to do six random pulls we'll alternate between east and south round hopefully I'll get this done in 12 minutes. No, just go into it. Cut that out. Mm. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. If you're new to reach and see. Oh, no, no. Okay, gosh. Okay, it's way Three, too complicated. Three, two, one. If you're new to Ricci, or if you're an intermediate player and just want to familiarize yourself, well, if you're intermediate, you should already be familiar. Three, two, one. This exercise has really helped me as a beginner. If you're just starting with this style, give these exercises. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm getting tired, I guess one more set to go here let's pull it together pull it together 
three, two, one. If you would have done anything differently, okay, I already asked three, them that. Three, two, one. If you're new to Ricci, okay, three, awkward. two, one. If you're new to this style, don't forget to look for the links below. Oh. Just lost internet. Oh uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's restart. Test, test. Well, it looks like my mic is working. Uh oh. What's going on? Are we, we're totally offline? I'm live streaming. <laughs> yep, everything's out. That's nice. I'm live streaming right now. Is oh, oh, snow. Oh, oh. On this episode of A Day in the Life of a Mahjong Player, I'm going to do an unboxing. Three, okay, is that good? Three, two, one. On this episode of A Day in the Life of a Mahjong Player, I'm going to do an unboxing. Three, two, one. On this day in the life of a Mahjong Player. Three, two, one. On this episode of A Day in the Life of a Mahjong Player, I'm going to do an unboxing. That's really, really corny. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's see. What am I going to say? Um, let's see. Oh, no, no. Okay. Three, two, oh, one. Three, two, one. No, no, no. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting tired. Oh. Three, two, one. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do. That way you won't miss out on any. Oh, my gosh. Ow. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> Ow. Oh. <laughs> oh, my feet. Mm. <sighs> Okay. <clears throat> Three, two, one. No. Gosh dang it. Three, two, one. Ow. Ow. Uh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see. Three, two, one. No. Three, two, one. I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This is a great exercise if you want to practice. Okay, I already said that. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, okay. Um, three, two, one. I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This is not the solitaire where you pick off pairs from a platform of some kind. This is playing four hands at one time. No. Um, let's see. The Charleston is half the game for American Mahjong. No, no. For okay. American Mahjong, the Charleston is half the game. 
If you can set yourself up for success, no. For American Mahjong, the Charleston is half the game. If you can make the right decisions during the Charleston, you can set yourself up for success in the next phase, picking and discarding between now and the next set of Charleston. What is this? Three, two, one. Uh, three, two, one. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's see here. Um, no, no. Uh, uh, what? This is not the right category. These are for Wright Patterson. I'm doing American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Being check. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was painful. Bangs. Come on. Three, two, let's see. Three, two, one. I'm going to do some decision making practice. Three, two, one. I'm going to practice decision making for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise I call Charleston modeling because we set up a a hand with dealt tiles and a mock Charleston and then practice decision making. Is that all kind of redundant? I think it is. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Three, Two, one. Boy, those last two Charleston modeling exercises. No, three, two, one. Those last two were great. Less than four discards. That is a fabulous Charleston. Maybe even winners for those two if they could have been played through. So if you do this exercise, make decisions so that you have four or fewer discards and you end up knowing Hopefully, what hand you're playing, no gaps, or at least what category you're in with options. Joker bait is nice too, as in that last, whatever that was. Three, two, one. Those were really hard. If you ever hear anybody say that Siamese Mahjong is too easy, have them watch this video because those were terrible. I try to get to where I have eight discards or less. Those were going to take this a lot of work. First three, six, nine hand. Now we, we need to work on this down here. Seven, eight, seven, eight concealed hand. We can get rid of all this. Maybe use this as joker bait and get rid of these. Oh, oh. Butterfingers. That's where that went. Four, 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 four. Okay, so we need to discard. Let's see here. Get rid of those. Let's see. Four, 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 four. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Four, 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 four. I don't think that went there. Okay, this does not belong up here, it belongs here. I almost messed that up. So now we have 
four, 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 three. That's what you want. One, two, three, four, five, six sets of four with three remaining. Here we have four, 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 three. So everybody's good to go. Five, bam. Uh-oh. Oh. Whoopsies. Oh. Butter fingers. I don't like that. Scoring is the most complicated part of the game. A lot of people don't want to play because of the scoring. But once you get used to it, it's not so bad. That's really negative. Oh, well, that really pushed my brain, which is one reason why I like doing the exercise. No, that was terrible. Okay, three, two, one. <sighs> um, how do I want to say this? Let's see. Three, two, one. I think it's really fun to play Wright Patterson Mahjong. There are so many choices. And I love the hand that, oh my three, gosh. Three, okay. two, one. 85 hands in that book. If you just play your favorites, that's kind of a waste. No, that's really negative. Three, two, one. If you find that you play, okay, let's I'm going see. to play a game of solitaire for Wright Patterson Mahjong. Since I don't get to play very often, I want to keep my head in the game for any opportunity that may come in. Come in, come my way. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two. Hmm? Three, two, one. I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Wright Patterson Mahjong. No. Three, two, one. I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Siamese Mahjong using Wright Patterson rules. This is a two player game where each player has two hands. Huh. Three, two, one. Now, Oh, I don't like any of that. Three, two, oh, one. It's awkward. Three, two, one. If you like to play Siamese Mahjong using Wright Patterson Mahjong rules and you play Siamese style. Okay, no, wait. I already said that. Three, two, one. If you play Siamese Mahjong using Wright Patterson Mahjong rules, that's too many Mahjongs. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. If you play Siamese Mahjong using Wright Patterson rules and you like to play in tournaments, there's an exercise you can do to quicken your decision making before the Charleston. There is no Charleston with Siamese style. Loser. I think I'm getting tired. Okay, three, two, one. Three, two, one. If you play Wright Patterson Mahjong, no. Three, two, one. I'm going to do some. What am I doing? I'm doing random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using. National Mahjong League rules. That's what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. I haven't been able to play Siamese Mahjong for a while, so I thought I would practice. I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. 
If you haven't learned how to play this version, I'm not plugged in. It would help if I plug in the mic. Three, two, oh, one. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh. Oh my gosh, I am just, I need a vacation.